Hello again, everybody, and welcome back once again to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. Today, I just got back from a trip, so I guess I'm even more out of practice than usual, but hopefully, hopefully, I can do something good. All right, so, skeleton at the door, as usual. A little bit of gold, another skeleton, comes alive, because he's a jerk. Yeah, screw you, guy. I'm out of here. So, we've got lots of things to pick up. Another skeleton not coming alive. Good to know. I need to hop off here, otherwise that jar will break, but that's fine, because there's another jar. So we're gonna chuck that one. I like having something to throw slash drop definitely in the mines, because you can always get the arrow traps. I think those do two damage. You can block them with a damsel or with, uh, with a small, like a rat, um, or in later levels, like some other kind of creature, whatever creature is in that level. And we're just gonna hit the bat with that, even though that does negate our chance of getting a gem in the jar. Freaking hate. <laughs> there we go. I, yeah, I need to figure out a better practice of being able to grab those ledges without grabbing onto the ladder, but we'll grab that damsel. Yeah, so damsels are really good. You can use them to... Ah! Okay, you can't use them to do... Well, you can use... I just did. <laughs> but that's not what I was intending to say. Uh, you can use the damsel to block arrow traps. You can whip them to get blood with the Kapala. You can whip them, I think, two times before you need... Like, before they would possibly die. I think a third time they would die, technically. Um, you can also... Freaking how many freaking skeletons today? You can also sacrifice them to Kali. Um, I can't make this jump. I can only make a three jump with that. If you lean over the edge like that... You can actually make a three jump. Aha, but I can do this. Screw you guys. Break that, take this, we'll take this through the door. There was nothing there. All right, what else can you do with a damsel? I think you can sell them to the shopkeeper. If the shopkeeper's not mad. Uh, okay. Yeah, there you go, arrow trap. Something for me to sacrifice here yet. And for the most part, rah, okay. If you kind of lean over the edge and fall, you'll actually drop whatever you're holding. So you kind of have to hop, do a little hop thing to do that. Well, well that could have been bad. <laughs> if that had gone a little bit farther and actually like hit the shopkeeper or something, I don't even know. That would have been, oh, there's so many good things. So many good things. Okay, oh, another gem. Excellent. What's up there? I don't know. Oh, I want these things so bad! Okay. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna go for it. If I screw this up, we'll just do some uh, regular stuff. No, no! Oh, no, no, I had it! Ah, oh, God. I'm so bad at that trick. I used to be so good! I used to make it like every time and now I'm so bad. I just need to practice. I need to just like sit down and play Spelunky like all day. Frick. Okay, well that was really bad, but it looks like 3-3 was basically the death of everybody else that didn't die just trying to kill the shopkeeper. Oh, and Packrat either has the game paused or is playing right now. So good luck to you, my man. But we're gonna do some regular adventure because that was terrible even on a level that's pretty bad for me so let's move on to adventure mode it's funny last time i did two episodes in one video i actually thought that i'd forgotten to record the second one because that's how short the video was even though i did two dailies i was like wow <laughs> like i was like really is that is that it really did i just not record? no that's uh that's two dailies all right so one of the things about, because I'm just going to keep talking about, I'm going to keep trying to talk about items and strategies for a while until I feel like I've exhausted it and I'm bored of it. But uh, the thing about the mines is there are arrow traps like so, and there's a variety of different items you can use to set them off. Um, rocks are kind of the preferable item to have on you because they don't break or uh, like get used up basically. Like with the jars, they break, and they can have creatures in them, which is not as good as having like a gem or something. That'd be nice. Um, and arrows you can use to set off other arrow traps, but once you actually throw this... Oh, well, there we go. That's me being an idiot right there. <laughs> 
Once you actually throw an arrow, well, now you can see it turns into this little arrow nub. And if I threw that at a monster to try and like kill it, it would actually just make the creature jump. It wouldn't, it wouldn't kill it. It wouldn't even hit it. It would just, well, I hope there's not spikes there, lady. Basically, it would just, it would just jump to get away from it. So it's not very useful. A rock you can actually kill creatures with. Eh, it's not really, I don't really care. I don't really care. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, good. Lady's still here. Um, pots break, so you can only use them once. Skulls break, so you can only use them once. You can actually use, well, there you go. Have fun with that. You can actually use, uh, like, the rats there to set off traps and stuff like that, but uh, it's really kind of difficult to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Predict, like, the movement and throwing them is kind of difficult sometimes and whatever else, so... Rocks are the best in general. There's other items, of course, and then even if you have, like, a carried item, like a shotgun or a matic or... You know, something else like that. You can also just drop those, but sometimes you need to throw, not drop, and then it gets all kinds of... <sighs> I should practice, but I'm just gonna fail! Oh my, that's... yep, there we go. Alright, wrong button, press this one. There we go, quick start. We're back in it. And there's a bat. Come on! You can also throw things like those those chests, whether they're full or empty. Sometimes they'll actually have a bomb in them too, which can be helpful, can be a problem, depending on the situation. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, frick! That's terrible. Okay, well, here comes the bat. Um, and yeah, while you can use, like, living creatures, come on, come on! Like the, the little teeny blue frogs, or the rats, or the scarabs and whatever, uh, you can't actually take them with you through the door. Same as corpses, like um, damsel corpse, shopkeeper corpse, caveman corpse. You can't actually take those through the door. Um, and you can't take... what else can't you take? You can't take uh, the the chest, once, once those uh, empty or full chests, you can't take those with you. I want that rock, dude. Give me the rock! You can take rocks, you can take the vase things, I guess. The One of these jars. You can take those. Gems and gold you can't pick up. You just like pick them up permanently. You can't like use them as an item or anything. You can whip them to move them, which is especially like if you're doing no gold or if you're trying to like ghost gems and you want to get them into a good position. And you can do that. Ghosting, if you don't know what that is, is basically it's a kind of a high level strategy. Um, when you're trying to get a super high score, oh, see, like this, I could pick this up, drop it, I could use that to set off traps, but I guess I'll do that with me, why not? It's a web gun. It's incredibly useful, but not to somebody like me. <laughs> Basically, if you know what you're doing, you can do crazy things with it. You can use it to, like, jump up, um, like, walls and stuff instead of using climbing gloves, because you can just shoot web, like, that, and then you can just jump in it, and then shoot web, jump in it, right? You can use it to, like, kind of pause enemies, stuff like that. But, yeah, for me it's not really... Not really something I'm adequately equipped to utilize. Probably something I need more practice with, like, everything else in the game. So now I've just destroyed everything. <laughs> we'll take this with us in case there's an arrow trap on the other side of the store. Which, in the caves, there is. Possibly. Jungle, there's no arrow traps. Ice caves, there's no arrow traps. Um, temple, there is arrow traps. I don't know about um, and the haunted castle. Oh frick! Haunted castle. I don't think there's arrow traps. I want to practice killing that shopkeeper, but if I go in there, I'll die. I mean, not just to the shopkeeper. <laughs> oh well, oh eh, well. I'm not gonna get that jar, I guess. I want that crate though. I want it so bad. Give it, give it, give it. I want this rock too. Give me the rock. Um, what else is there? Black market. I don't think there's arrow traps in the black market. No, no, because it's like, it's more like the jungle. So yeah, there's not there. And the mothership. I don't believe there's arrow traps, but that's okay because there's all kinds of. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Here's the here's the monkey that poops gold. Apparently, it's similar to the eggplant. Oh, and there's a there's a snake pit. 
Similar to the eggplant in that it's like incredibly easy to lose slash break slash kill on accident. Like, I think if you whip it or anything like that. Oh god, just come on. Basically, it's easy to lose. I'm gonna just stand here and gather some poop gems, I guess, for fun. You can't sacrifice the, the gold monkey, and I think it only releases a certain number of gems and gold. So, and you can just leave it kind of in a corner somewhere, but eventually it'll kind of, because it does kind of hop around too, so. This is very, come on, man, come on. Hurry up with the releasing of the gems. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, we got this. I guess we're gonna have to use this dude. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Don't even. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I want the little. Come here. There we go. <laughs> so he's the little rat. Come here, dude. Let's go. Um, and for the m most part, you'll actually notice. Um, Everything is randomly kind of generated, but it's it's not randomly. I guess it's more like procedurally generated because every time um, all of the different maps are generated, there's a sort of science to it, and you'll get to know kind of how everything is laid out and, and similar kind of patterns that you'll see. It's pretty helpful because, especially for something like speedrunning, oh, oh, okay, and I don't think I can take this guy with me, which is why I was just running around trying to get him to poop everywhere. I can leave him there for a second, but I think he'll get out. Alright, well... No, come on, 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 come on! No, oh, yeah, he does not, he does not go with me. Um, especially for things like speedrunning, or even just doing the daily, or running away because you're getting chased by the ghost or something. Uh, it's, it's relatively similar. You get to know the patterns pretty well, and it's, it's very helpful, so... Die, thank you. Let's grab this. As I said before, if you drop something actually in the web, it makes the web disappear faster. That's uh, the fastest way to make the web disappear, right? Eh. Okay. Not really worth it to come over here. You can make this jump. I find using the D-pad for that jump is actually the easiest way to make it. I use I used to use just the analog stick, but um, I feel like you need the D-pad for some of that. Some of that more precision work. Is not gonna come alive and I try to if you notice I always try to even if there's like another skull here or another jar here I try to walk away from that as well because if you throw something while you're standing but oh well okay was that already set off oh yeah there's the little bitty arrow I was like I don't see it I don't see it uh, if you throw something when you're standing by something else it'll actually destroy both and sometimes like in that jar for example there'll be another creature or sometimes like you'll need that item to progress you'll need to have an item to be able to throw to set off an arrow trap or something else like that so we're gonna throw that down there there we go get some bombs totally worth it Ugh. come on there we go Yeah, you'll always have a ledge under the doors, even if you blow up um, the, bom uh, the bombs. Ooh! Even if you blow up whatever's underneath it as well, but... Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Screw you guys. <laughs> Getting out of here. Oh, this is a dangerous and scary place, and I bet you the chest is over there. Okay, well, now that that guy's gone, let's go back over here and take a look. Hmm, okay. No chest. And since this isn't the daily, not worth worrying about that money anyways, so... Can I make it? No, I cannot! I did not die though, and there is a freaking... Come on! Stop squirming! That's the only thing I've... There it is, yeah. Mm. The only thing I find about the D-pad is I have a little bit of trouble trying to get it so that I can... Uh... I can look down without just squirming my butt around. That's a problem I have. A butt squirmer. Okay, and that's dangerous. Don't do that. Because if you do that, it's possible that there'll be a creature in there and it'll hurt you or kill you if you're unlucky and that's like your last health. The arrow traps do too. I'm not entirely sure what all of them do. Oh, and grabbing a ledge. If you grab a ledge and you're doing like a really big fall and you don't think you're going to survive it, you can actually grab a ledge and save yourself. So that's something to look out for. Come on now. 
And I think rubies are worth the most out of all the gems. But I don't actually have all the, the numbers for that memorized yet, so something I should probably do. Let's grab this one, because why not? Oh, sorry. Sorry, pup. <laughs> sorry. Wow, this is all kinds of... Okay, so I can grab this ruby, but I can't dig up. That's the one big thing with the matic. I can't actually dig up. And if I go through there, that shopkeeper is going to be mighty ticked off at me. So I think we're going to have to go up where that snake is. Come on. No, not you. You are not the pup. Come on, you. It's funny too. Yeah, like I've said before, there is kind of a different... Uh, mm, pup, you're not going to... It's not going to work out for me. It's kind of a different weight and trajectory to some of the items, which is somewhat surprising sometimes. You really have to kind of... Ah, frick. Really have to kind of plan for it, be used to it, know that it's going to happen. Um, ghost is going to come. So is this bat. Okay. Screw you, guy. I don't care. There's the ghost. Okay, screw you, pup, then. We're just going to get the heck out of here. Uh, I was going to get those rubies, but I don't have time. Okay, and yeah, kind of want that crate, but I'm not going to go for it. Because I don't have the time. Oh my goodness, we're actually in the jungle for once. And it's a dark level. Oh my god. Okay. So, what's something else here? Yeah, look. These scarabs you find, they actually are very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, freaking. I have no... I have no... <gasps> well, okay. I'm still alive. And my thingamajigger followed me down, so that's good. Thingamajigger. Okay, bat, you need to die. Oh, well, or I can just jump down. Ah, uh, scarabs. The scarabs <laughs> are easy to kill accidentally, but we're going to get out of here. They're easy to kill accidentally. If you throw something at them, they'll just disappear. Um, and the torches will actually, if you drop them in water, they'll actually go out. But you can light them again on, like, another tiki dude's torch. Or, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to see, where is, where is the... Oh, it's right here. Okay. There we go. So when you get close to the black market, the Ujad eye will blink, as you can see. Sometimes it's really hard to find. Sometimes you can see it. As you can see, it has a similar outline, just like the entry door. Sometimes you can find it without the Ujad eye. Some people prefer to do that. I'm not usually one of them. I am lazy. Like, if the Ujad eye is hard to get, I would just won't do it. But, all right, what do we got here? Lots of bomb boxes. Um, boomerangs, another weapon, machetes, another weapon. Machete can actually cut through spider web, which is actually kind of helpful sometimes and is very good for gathering blood. This is the freeze ray. You can freeze things and jump on them and they'll die for the most part. Bombs. Oh, okay, and there's a kissing booth. You can pay to kiss the damsel instead of like taking it. You can also purchase the damsel, um, but obviously it's more expensive than just finding them for free. That's a hired help down there. Usually they just kill you. Um, not so helpful, as far as I understand. I don't usually buy them. Oh, that actually worked out really well. And the thing about the black market is it's really easy for the uh, for the shopkeepers to get angered by just like a random creature. What else? Ropes, obviously. Spike shoes. You can jump on things and they'll they'll die in one hit, like yetis, instead of taking multiple hits. Cape allows you to float down onto spikes, which is very helpful, especially in stuff like hell. It's actually more helpful than a jetpack most of the time in something like hell. Like, obviously, you can't go up like a jetpack, but for floating down onto spikes, it's very helpful. Spectacles. Oh, no. Oh. And these, these uh, gambling rooms you can't actually use in the daily, so it kind of sucks when they do show up. But basically, obviously, the, the little red present means you win the prize. Otherwise, you can win money, or the skull just means you don't win. Spectacles are... Similar to oh man, I shouldn't have I should have kept that. Oh, here we go. I can use this. Oh frick, frick. <sighs> The thing about underwater is you can't actually jump on creatures underwater. So if you're planning on using jumping onto frickin' hell man, okay, you're gonna we're gonna just do that. Take care of him at least. Uh, we're gonna do that as well. Screw you guys. I'm getting out of here. Um bombs they go about two blocks 
in the direction, I believe. Um, I think if you pick them up and place them again in a certain way, you can actually kind of get three blocks out of it, but I'm not entirely sure on that. I do know, like, if you, if you, basically, if you place them kind of, um, between two tiles, just perfectly, you can get more, basically, bang for your buck. But I'm not usually that pro. And you can also cascade bombs. If you place bombs in a certain timing, kind of like a, on top of each other. Oh, there we go. That worked out for me. Uh, but that's also something I haven't really practiced with. Man traps I freaking hate. Because they're mean and they're jerks. And I don't like them. Alright, spikes. Spikes are okay as long as they don't kill me. Tiki trap. There we go. Come on, froggy. Blue frogs are OP. I don't know if you know that. Ah, and this is a freaking... Damsel, you're probably not going to make it with me. We're just not, not going to... Because there's two giant frogs. I don't have any spike shoes, so I can't jump on them to kill them. Um, I might be able to do... Nope, that did not work. I can jump on them, it just won't kill them. Oh, well, we'll just go this way. If you can kill the giant frogs, sometimes they'll drop uh, the bouncy shoes. Same way that if you can kill the yeti king, sometimes you can get spike shoes. And we're in the, we're in the freaking ice caves now, which is pretty cool. I don't know what all is up with those little ice ball things. I think I've found... This is similar to the... Whatchamacallit? Similar to the... The web you can find in the... In the levels with the... Oh my god, I can't even think anymore. In the levels with the giant spiders. Sometimes you can find, like, creatures in them or rocks. Oh well. Ah! <laughs> Just die. Get out of my life. See, and if, if they destroy Kali's altar... She will not be happy with me. I kind of want to sacrifice that dude. Like, a lot. Okay, we'll go for it. Please get out of my life. Okay. Oh no, no! Don't do it! Oh, and I got a cape! Nicely done. That's actually very helpful in situations like these. Or it can be, because I can just float and kind of aim my trajectory to get me down to somewhere safe. This is not the way we want to go. So I don't know, the ice caves are kind of like one of the hardest areas and also one of the easiest, depending. I feel like they're like way too hard if you don't really know where you're going. Like if you don't have a compass, it can be really unforgiving because you can get down to somewhere you can't get out of. You have no way of like... Um, moving, right? If you run out of ropes or something, you basically just have to kill yourself. Oh, sense psychic presence. Psychic presence is alien queen slash dude slash whatever, and behind them there's a jetpack. Of course, they also kind of shoot those little projectiles like Anubis does, so they're really dangerous. <laughs> and usually you die trying to get that jetpack, which is the whole point. It's supposed to lure you in, right? Oh, and there's the door. You can kind of tell because there's a certain kind of ice pattern, even before you see this, see there? There's a bit of an ice pattern you can kind of see, so... Usually you can kind of tell. I want the gem. I want that head, but I'm not gonna go for it. All of the idle heads like that are trapped in some way or another. In the caves, it's not usually worth it because... Or mines, I can never... <laughs> in the mines, I guess. In the mines, it's not really worth it because usually... Uh, the rolling ball will actually destroy like a shopkeeper's shop and make them angry or it'll destroy Kali's altar or it'll destroy uh, for example the Ujad Eye like the crate or the crate the... I think it's right there right? yeah it'll destroy that or it'll basically... oh that's scary it almost got Kali's altar excuse me uh, it'll destroy Kali's altar, destroy a shopkeeper, destroy like a uh, like the safe, whatever the or the vault, you know, basically it, it can make your life not good. Kind of want those gems, but I don't know if they'll be safe to get. I'll just destroy that anyways, just in case. So yeah, usually it's not worth it because it just makes your life more difficult. 
But it can be. I mean, it's not definitely not worth it. It's just usually not worth it. There we go. You can't actually whip yetis unless they're unconscious. If they're still conscious, they will throw you. They don't care. Ah. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. And you can actually bounce on enemies to get up to something like that, so that's what I just did there. The guy is stuck. Oh, there you go. No! Don't you touch me. And where's the door? Not here. There it is. Okay. Um, I might die. <laughs> Let's just do a rope. We'll do a rope. And that way I can jump over here, jump down here, and safely glide to the door. Those mines on the ground. Um, oh, and we're in the temple. The mines on the ground, if you get close to them, they'll activate. You have a few like seconds and then they'll explode. You can use them to do like mining. Oh, hey, and there's a new west and it's a dark level. And, oh, I think we have special music, which I don't know if I've ever heard in the temple. Is that special music or I'm just crazy? Look at that poor little thwomp. Where's the boo boo boo? Where's the boo boo swamp? I'm just gonna get this because I'm gonna die soon anyways. May as well get whatever's in this crate, which is more bombs. Great. Fabulous. And I've got some gems. Really don't like dark level temple. I have to wait till he comes back awake again and then I can oh, I can whip him or throw something at him but he decided he wanted to be a jerk face okay I'm gonna put a rope down oh well I'm gonna put a rope down and it's gonna burn so I gotta jump uh, okay and there was a burning dude lava man but he disappeared so we're good Usually there's a dude hanging around somewhere here trying to kill you. Not so here. We're fine. So we'll move on. I have zero ropes now. Zero ropes now, I think. Okay, and a mummy. Not my favorite thing in the world. Um, I think I'm gonna bomb right here. I can get this ruby, possibly. Ruby, thank you. Oh, there's the City of Gold. Excuse me, I'll just take that. Uh, you need the Ankh. Uh, or do you need the Ankh? I know you need... <gasps> no! That was all kinds of foolish. You need the Hedget, which you get by getting the Ankh and dying on the level with the Moai Head. And then you get the Hedget. And you also need... The scepter, which you get from killing Anubis on the first level of the temple. Then you can go into the City of Gold, which is an alternate route to getting to... What's his face? <laughs> Olmec. There are so many things to explain. I'm trying my best. Hopefully it's not too boring. Hopefully it's enlightening to someone who maybe doesn't know as much about the game. I'm trying to just spend a few episodes kind of explaining a little bit more about the mechanics of the game. I know I've got like 60 episodes of the daily challenge, but I think it's a nice refresher to kind of, even for just for me to try and think of some of these things, but if it's annoying, just tell me. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you on the next episode.